the scientific vision that the show presents to people is based absolutely in reality. That fungus is real, and if it were to be able to infect humans, it would go like that. These things are out there to infect you, so they're already terrifying. So instead, you go in the reverse. Let's really explore the beauty of fungal growths. When it has more of a human side, more of a beautiful side, it makes it even scarier. They have so much saturated, vibrant colors and patterns and fractal way that they grow. How do we capture that? Because that's more interesting than just creating the monster. These are a lot of our very early concepts and busts. We're following real reference and real nature of real fungus and real mushrooms. Once we knew what the colours were, then we would paint a suit to match. We would glue all the mushrooms and everything onto the suits and then the suits would go over to Sage and her team and they would cut the costumes for the mushrooms to be growing through. Each clicker is designed individually and the costume had to be durable enough to go through all of the crazy moves that the clickers have and you never go into battle with one costume. But these guys did. So, you know, makeup effects and costumes would be sitting on set, biting their nails, just hoping that everything stays together. One of the changes that Neil and I felt we needed to make was the way the fungus would spread. We started looking at something called mycelium, which are these threads that make up fungus. And the idea that if you are infected, these threads grow in you and begin to come out through your throat, the nightmare of being infected by someone doing something that is as human and beautiful as a kiss felt horrifying to us. The prosthetics were so good that the clickers really, really felt real. Well, I didn't want to look at them. I didn't want that in my head to go on and sleep. And then you have to be kind of like, hi, <laughs> how are you? It's not just what they look like, it's the physicality and the way that they move is what makes them so creepy, but impressive. When I start working with actors, we get into the zone of being the character rather than playing the characters. It had to feel like nature was unfolding in a scary, scary way. The Clickers performers were outstanding. Working with Terry was amazing. At the end of our cul-de-sac scene, Terry and I conducted a mocap session with all the stunt actors. And we put all these actors in these gray suits that they can have little tracking dots put on them. And then the cameras can pick up all of these little nuanced motions. And it's just to collect a library of movements to guide the digital characters, whether it be jumping or running, crawling out of holes, whether they're attacking somebody in you know, full flight or messing with them on the ground. And we use that basically to replicate their motions uh, onto a CG character. Any shot with a child clicker ended up being fully digital. It was very important that when we saw the child clicker, that we understood it was a young girl. We referenced what the original actress did, her movements. We realized that what we needed to do was expose more of her childlike features. One of the scarier monsters that I've ever seen is the bloater. We were debating quite a bit whether we want to have a bloater in this season or not. Craig called me and was like, okay, what if we did the bloater? Work on the bloater started quite early on, obviously starting with the game and then building models. For the design process of the bloater, we had all the intentions in the beginning to shoot the bloater practically. We changed the design of the bloater a little bit from the prosthetic suit, just enough to know that we wouldn't be able to get away with using practical bloater and CG bloater in the same sequence. When he emerged out of the hole, it was an amazing moment watching such an iconic character from the game become a reality. I don't know how to describe this feeling, this feeling of pride that the set design, the costume design, the look of the clickers, the sound of the clickers, we worked so hard to make sure they sounded just like the game. I watch it and I get emotional because it does it justice and then some. There's something really beautiful and moving about them.